Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> this is my Ultra that's not even been overclocked. I didn't overclock it, but I kind of prepped it with this heat sinks, but it would not start mining. It would go green for like two minutes. It will show up on web GUI and then probably overheat. So there's some issue with this uh, MOSFETs. Even though I have the fan here, even at the shroud and the fan blowing in, uh, 1200 RPM did not help. It will still overheat uh, probably, or I don't know why it's kind of restarts. I cannot even see if the temperature went up because it's quickly after two minutes, I couldn't even refresh and it goes uh, red and green again. So it's basically a restarting point. So I'm, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to take it apart and take those heat sinks out i think when i overclocked maybe uh they got overheated and separated and somehow it just creating instead of see it's again again it's going in and probably a couple minutes later it will basically stop <clears throat> and go restart again so it will constantly go in and out restarting and i need to just basically shut it down take it apart and see what happened in there all right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove this, all these heat sinks. I think it's kind of loose anyway. I use this uh, heat sink, uh, I mean the heat tra transferring uh, tape or whatever it is, sticky dual, dual uh, wall tape. And anyways, it doesn't even stick to too much. So my idea here may be preventing from cooling and actually overheating because it doesn't have full connection with that. So I was kind of surprised that it's doing all the time. So let's cover it up and I'll start it again and see if it mines or not with the heat sink being removed completely. We're back here, let's connect the Ethernet. I got those removed completely. And I'm gonna use stock fans. I'm not gonna even, uh, I'm gonna try without even this exter external fan. See if the stack fans will be able to cool it down, blowing the air directly uh, to those MOSFETs without the heat sink. So maybe uh, my thinking is those heat sinks created some sort of a issue with the preventing uh, the MOSFETs cooling because they're if they're not in the full contact or not transferring the uh, Heat from these power stages, you could see those MOSFETs right there, right? So if you're not transferring, you're actually covering them up and they're overheat instead of being cooling with those heat sinks. So heat sinks could prevent from cooling. So I'm gonna wait, see when it starts and see if it's gonna even run uh, more than two minutes. If not, maybe other issues, but uh, I almost think maybe that's the problem. So let's see have similar happen to this machine and with these heat sinks they also were with the with this dual sticky tape i don't trust it anymore i mean it's better probably to just glue it directly than use this tape because it's kind of sucks if it's separated and it's not actually cooling it's heating the mosfets which uh, make it worse so i started up the unit without them it looks like it started mining so we'll see i have to wait and check this two units this two ultra uh, Kaiser Ultra being uh, crazy. I just printed the shroud. This is crazy. It's supposed to be reverse. It started print from the from this side. It's supposed to start print from this side, but I had to hold it until it's actually finished the printing. But it's okay. It's probably gonna work. But I need to flip it next time I print this. But I really like this design. It's only cooling inside the unit. If you're doing any overclocking. Uh, uh, so let's let's check it out. Let's see if any of them are gonna restart and mine. So the unit pretty hot itself, 53 degrees Celsius, hot spot. But um, when I measure the MOSFET there, it's um, behind the heat sink. It, it seems to be cold, even black. But when I removed those heat sinks, it was going to 80 quickly. So with the fans running, it's actually cooling down to 72 because those units are not overclocked. They're supposed to be uh, cooled down by just these internal fans with no problem. So let's see if it's gonna start uh, be mining for a little bit. 
All right, so if you remember, after I remove all these uh, heat sinks from MOSFETs on this unit, and I thought, okay, maybe it's gonna fix the problem, and I put the, uh, I never put the overclock, well, take it back, I did overclock this unit before, but it's not overclocked now for efficiency, but it was just doing nothing for uh, about probably a week almost, because it would constantly restart after two minutes it would go red and uh, solid red and green and obviously restarting because I figured the unit probably overheating. So I took away those heat sinks, hopefully thinking it's gonna start mining. It started and it started restarting again and again and again until I actually put it to the 19 volts back. I have this uh, up converter, so because I'm using this all a server PSUs, I just connected to that uh, 19 volt step up converter and connected to 19 volt thinking, okay, let's try. And it's actually worked. So this unit back alive, it's been uh, over 13 hours, probably 15 hours. We're gonna go and check. So also I had the issue with this case, uh, Zero Ultra IP222. So just remember that IP as well. Uh, and it's also been restarting for me like every two minutes. Similar to the other ones, I took the heat sinks off, didn't help, and I put 19 volt converter. It's using about a couple extra watts, so it's 90, let's see. Actually, it's on the first one, so it's not that bad, it's 96 watts. Uh, so yeah, it's the using about the same amount of power which is weird usually it's a couple watts extra uh, I'm seeing when I use this up step up converters but it's mining now for over probably 15 hours so let's go check it out web GUI for those two units that uh, been restored finally back and mining so two units were not mining for me on the 12 volt and I don't know what happened I never had that before on KS Pro I still have running them for 24 seven, uh, never an issue. And also I have ultras that overclocked, six of them been running nonstop uh, for over a couple, uh, well, I don't know if it's two months yet, but yeah, let's go check out the web GUI for that. All right, so here is, a, I'm in the web GUI PB Farmers, uh, it's in PB Farmers and it's been 15 hours here, you can see uh, probably right there in the right corner, 15 and a half hours, and it's been pretty stable. Yes, uh, my chip's temperature, well, it's between 72 and 74, which is good for that first unit, 222. Uh, the IP address right there, I guess, I hope you could see that. So that's the miner I didn't mine before, and now it's back online. A little bit hot maybe on power stages, 86, but it's... I think it's within the limit, so it's fine because I don't have any external fan on it. Uh, but thanks to PB Farmer overclocks, I, I was able to get this uh, target temperature set up the way to keep a fine balance between the uh, power stages temperature and the chips temperature to get to this full uh, hash rate. Again, it's not overclocked unit. And so let's check this number four. It's over here actually, right there, let's refresh. Also 15 hours and 24 minutes here in the right corner. So this second unit, uh, 228 IP address, this has been having an issue and it's now at 76 power stages. Uh, my chip temperature a little bit running cold, so I need to figure out how to uh, increase this so I can get the full hash rate, but it's still running all right, so I have basically back to life to K0 Ultra by simply uh, switching to 19 volts. And I think that another reason is I removed those heat sinks that, that were loose because they were getting the... Because uh, first when I switched to 19 volt, it still was restarted until I removed those heat sinks. Anyways, guys, I hope it helps someone, will help someone to figure this out, but really like how you can set the target temperature and keep this miners running because without the fan uh you know like it's it's constantly if you set to the 
to the ASIC control it just a little bit. It only works out if it's everything perfect with the unit. The fixed speed, it's kind of weird because it is, uh, it would be running and then it's sometimes it just resets back to the ASIC control, which I'm not sure why, but I mean, not on PB Farmer, but on the, on the regular firmware, uh, if it's not overclocked using just the uh, Ice River firmware, when you set your fixed temperature sometimes, uh, fixed fan, it will reset you some for some reason. Anyways, um, two miners back online. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay safe and we'll see you on the next one.